you know, I'm Challenger, I have no life, and I'm Asian, so I probably can get rank 1. Previously on Dragon Balls in my mouth, we were at 528 LP. Then I made a video where I said I was quitting Jungle for support, and a lot of people got mad. Alright, I'ma say this fucking once, and y'all better comment below. Do you guys want me to gain ELO, and play support and go to the stupid ass scouting ground? Or would you guys want me to play Jungle, and see how far I can get with just the Jungle? Mostly gonna be Nunu because he's super OP, and that's the only jungle I'm comfortable with, so yeah, let me know in the comments below, do you guys want me to climb with support, or do you guys want me to climb with jungle? Currently, I'm queuing for support and jungle, but if you guys really want me to queue for jungle and support, then I will do so. Or hell, if you guys want me to go queue for jungle mid, I'll do so. And yeah, I will cater to the audience, because let's be honest here, audience is greater than ELO, which is 100% true. So if you want to see me fail as Bard, Nami, try out new supports, honestly, just comment below. And show me those upvotes, otherwise I, I would just be playing Janna because she gives me, you know, free low. At least that's what I believe. There's also this one comment where, like, someone said they liked how I didn't do shit to please my fans. Well, I do things for them, but they just don't understand that support gets me elo while jungle loses me LP. Where I thought this is supposed to be a rank series where I use every single tool to my advantage to get some LP. You know, that was the basis of it, and at the beginning, it was a, obviously a jungle. <laughs> a jungle rank series, but when your support is secondary, like a legit secondary, then you often get support a lot, and eventually the queues are 50-50 on jungle and support, and sometimes it's more support so you end up being support more, and eventually it's stupid that you become a support main because of that. But if you guys really want to see me climb with just the jungle instead of support, like if you don't give a shit about 700 LP with just support, and you just want to see me climb with only the jungle, that is completely fine as well. It's up to you guys because honestly these two options I can go with are pretty legit. One gets me a very high ranking while the other one increases my jungle skill. So it's basically a win-win situation. The only problem is if I get too low in challenger or master and I lose challenger because of my jungle, it might be time to go back to support and uh, you know camp that elo for that challenger border. But if you guys want me to, I will queue as jungle mid so I can get jungle more often. So make sure to comment below and upvote whatever you want me to do. You guys are the audience and I will cater to you guys, so whatever entertains you, whatever you guys want from me, I'll do that. I will agree those support games are fucking hella boring, because I literally do the same thing every game. You know, it's either like I feed and then I win, or I feed, but then I lose. But more often so, it's uh, you know, it's I feed and then I win. So you know, maybe I'm just really lucky. There's also an option where we just skim through the support games and concentrate on the mid, top, AD carry, and jungle games, but I might have to go in depth on more support games because I might not have enough games for a few videos. So you know, it's up to you guys on how you guys want this series to go. And yeah, just make sure to comment below and you know, just say what you want or upvote the comment that you see that kind of aligns with your opinion. But anyways, I think we're going to be done with the Janna game and we lose some LP. Now in the next game I play Malzahar, and I can't last hit in the laning phase, so I'm just like, hey, people overextending, I better, you know, come down bottom, and get me a kill or two with my ultimate. Ryze decides to stay mid, and push it out, I'm pretty sure he pinged, but there ain't no counterplay, to my ultimate. Okay, well, there is, but she doesn't have it yet, and you know what I did in this game? I didn't feed. I played that laning phase like a little bitch and sat on my tower. Okay, no, that's a lie. I actually got pushed in and I couldn't push out, so I had a horrible time trying to last hit, but eventually I got used to- Okay, no, I didn't get used to it because I underestimated Malzahar's auto attacks. I thought it was like some weak stuff like Vladimir's auto attacks under tower, and I was just super sad on CSing. But yeah, honestly, uh, Malzahar- oh, I should have never gave up this champion in the mid lane. I missed this champion. He's so OP. Fuck Morgana, fuck her whatever high win rate in the mid lane. This champion is my peanut butter on my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Without that peanut butter, I'm shit in the mid lane. But if I go to the top lane, no no no, fuck that peanut butter. I'll just pick Malphite. But I also just want to say I fucked up with the build because I got CDR boots when I shouldn't have because I'm overcapping on CDR. So you know it's been a while since I played this champion. And you can also see I'm taking Ghost because that's what everyone else is taking and I think it's good. I think. Like if I ever do see Faker in the mid lane, don't worry, I'll play Malzahar in the mid lane and also have a clickbait title, so you'll definitely see that. And you know, I just have a little perfect game with Malzahar, you know, that execution does not count, but apparently it does, so I get an A+. And then we play Janna, oh, oh fuck, this game, okay. So this is a mistake, so this is a mistake because I let Tristana go in first, um, 
and then I take the kill, whoops. But I should have been ahead of her anyways because we were going mid and then I was like, uh, let's go back bottom and I like basically indecisive and Tristana got ahead of me. And then I do this, you know, ho ho, what a beast. And then right here, I don't know what the enemy's team is doing, but they're kind of fucking around on me. Then finally Tristana does come, assassinates Jinx, and then she goes with Anami, and then gets a reset. But I think she should have instantly W'd, so she didn't get bubbled, but also, uh, this way I tank the tower as well, so she can keep going in. And then I back off, and then, yeah, I'm kind of scared of where the mid laner is, so... Uh, yeah, I better back off. But you can see Tristana is getting really fed. You know, fuck this game. Okay, okay. Let's get into the mid game. So here is a is a little little team fight where Tristana gets really big. So you can see she's legendary. You can see I have one goal, and that is to protect her after she hits being legendary. That is my sole purpose and destiny to do. And she lives with a sliver of health, so I succeeded with doing that. And then we get Baron, um, but then our Victor gets a little too overambitious and suicides. And then my team is like, hey, let's team fight, we gotta go in. So now we're fighting under tower and like a 4v5. I try to heal everyone up so everyone survives, but Tristana dies, Aurelia dies, and then I don't die. Everyone else does, so yay, through. And then we try and siege mid again, which is actually a really bad call for me because I still have the Baron buff, but I was just too lazy to notice that it ran out. So that means we didn't have the advantage and now my team dies for that. A little later, enemy team gets Baron and now we're forced to defend a siege on bottom lane. We do get Lee Sin, but I think it's time to heal up. Otherwise, I think I would have died from that Jinx ultimate. But finally, the enemy team decides, hey, let's go into Tristan and kill her. And then I die and then everyone else basically dies and then I lose. <sighs> well, maybe it's time to give up support and play Nunu. Yeah, the only champion I'll play in the jungle right now because he's super OP. And I come in the bot lane because I see them just overextending. Okay, all inning is a better term for this, but uh, yeah. Kitty Pie dies and then Janna dies and I say, you know what, fuck it, I'm gonna flash. And I think it was necessary there. And then I come back to the bot lane because they have no summoners, which means easy kills, especially if your tri-bush is warded with a pink ward. You see how smart I am ganking this bot lane with a pink ward in my tri-bush and waiting till someone face checks or they overextend? So I finally say, okay, they're across the river. This is definitely an easy gank and I say, let's go for Janna, she's the easier target. But then I'm like, okay, they have this, so I'm gonna go on Ezreal. But it takes a little time before they kill the Janna. But Cutie Pie does get baited to go in, so now he dies and I'm just trying to auto attack for some of my passive stacks. But he does something very ambitious and he does not get the kill on Tristana. And I eventually do kill him, but it takes a while because I have no mana, so I just have to slap him. And I see some shit happening in bot lane after clearing this pink war, so I'm like, okay, here I am. So I show up to the fight and uh, I go on the Janna. But then Cutie Pie goes really ham on this Tristana, and uh, I guess I don't blame him too much. So then I just go kind of ham on him. I kind of want to kill this Janna, but she flashes away, so I'm like, okay, I guess it's my turn to flash away. And I do escape due to my super fast movement speed. I'm running movement speed quints, by the way, so that's one of the reasons why I can get away so easily. And did you know... And did you know Nunu's base movement speed is actually 350? He's actually only 5 movement speed under Pantheon, and that's why he's so fast. And now me and this Olaf are like kind of contesting the river, um, but then I see how- <laughs> I see shit happening in the bot lane again, so I'm making my way downtown, walking fast, faces pass, and I'm homebound. And obviously this ice ball on Olaf doesn't really do- well, actually does do a little bit, but this ultimate doesn't really do anything, so now I just have to slap my enemies to death. I also make sure to use my ice ball after Olaf's ultimate runs out so I can get that slow on him. And yeah, he does get killed by Tristana. Alright, so I got a big lead. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like I can do whatever I want. The problem is I am the one with all the kills, not my not my carries. I'm Nunu. I can't carry. And now we're just sieging mid lane, but the thing is we can't even fight the enemy team under the tower because we know that Kennen is coming from top lane because we see him coming through the river and he's also MIA, so it's really obvious that he's going to be coming, but my team tower dies anyways and yeah, we all die and I'm just like, just get tower, what the fuck? And I say some mean things in chat and I say some mean things that are considered toxic in this community. Ugh, I'm such an asshole, but that asshole comes back mid into Ryze's face and says, Fuck you, kid. But I have a feeling he's gonna flash over the wall, so that's why I ended my ultimate early. Janna gets caught by our Diamond 2 Fizz. Clap, clap, Diamond 2 Fizz. He's actually pretty good. He actually had a pretty good score in this high-level game. But yeah, we get the Rise and the Janna, and then we eventually get the mid lane. 
and then I'm like, okay, top lane, you're gonna be my bitch because I see like three people in the bot lane. So this is something I have to make happen because obviously we can't get the mid lane. And so luckily, this Kennen goes super aggro even though he shouldn't be. Then I just smack him for a little bit. Um, I mean, he's he's definitely gonna die. It just it just takes a while. But yeah, three people bought. Um, we get a pick on Rise. We should be able to do something. But the only thing we get is a top tower. And uh, later on, we get a kill on Rise and what's her name? So I'm like, okay, sweet, let's get some objectives. Because you know me, I hate doing nothing whenever we win a team fight. It honestly feels really bad, but this dragon leads to us getting chunked and also Thresh dying. So they go for a little Baron attempt. Poppy died, so we're a little, a little scared. But we got to do something, otherwise they're eventually going to win. So it's a good thing that Fizz initiates onto the Janna, but he does get exhausted. And now he's in a sticky situation. As well as our Tristana, she gets really chunked and I'm in a sticky situation so they turn on me and then I eventually die. Which means a free Baron from them because we're really chunked so they can't do shit. Then we go to the bot lane, they're like diving pretty mediocre hardcore-ish. But then they go super overextended so I'm like okay you know what it's time for me to ultimate right in the middle of everyone. Well no just inches off hitting Kiribai and Kennen but still I get two people. And I think this game uh, Triss was actually pretty fed but fuck she just feels like kind of useless to be honest so after the last game and you know this game i just feel like tristana is a shitty ad carry you know not the player just the champion eventually though my team is just very disoriented and uncoordinated for sure i kind of want to defend top lane but we can't so the olaf looks like a juicy pick but the rise teleport is coming in and ooh, this poppy gets a really nice ultimate on the cannon so he was actually really useless but also tristana is in the top lane uh not really helping us she eventually comes back but then goes back to the top lane and i have a sense that she's actually here so i'm like okay let's keep going in you know let's uh let's just keep trying to kill people that's what me and poppy really want but then i get <laughs> i get fucking tornadoed and then eventually tristana does come and uh well, the team fight's over. Like, if we kill four people right there and top lane tower dies, I think that's fine. But, like, losing like that feels really bad, man. But now right here, I'm just kind of, like, screwing around with Olaf. And Thresh gets a really nice hook on the cannon. So we set up for a very nice nuke on him. And now we just want to get every kill we can. As we've basically won the team fight, so we try and get Olaf. But then he gets some Tristana who gets away. And now I'm pretty useless against Olaf, so I'm just, like, okay, kind of backing off reassessing the situation and finally we get rise so we go on him he gets cc the shit but uh you know what you know is tristana's range really that short i feel like she should have more range or something but still we actually get the olaf dead but this rise is just an absolute monster right now but he does stray away and now we eventually go into olaf and then cutie pie actually flashes in but gets hooked and now uh, tristana has to get away but cutie pie is basically going to be dead here and now we try to chase the rise and yep Yep, we definitely get him. Very nice clean ace coming from us. Yay, yay, clap, clap, and we get the Cloud Drake. Now, we still have two inhibitors down, but Baron is coming up really soon. We're actually getting some wards on it. But the thing is, where is everybody? No one's grouped. Everyone's kind of at base. Everyone's just kind of doing their own thing. I'm waiting to contest this Baron because I know they're kind of going to rush it, but like, you know, no one's around. No one's... Yeah, I mean, finally people go, but it's a little too late and I can't really do anything about it. So honestly, we have to give this up because no one's in position. I could have gone like solo, but I would have probably died. But yeah, no one was really in position for it. So yeah, let's just give it for free. Now, our Tristano is actually like super duper, super duper fed. And me giving her my W is actually just an icing on the cake. Now, I hate her build because she went double like zeal items. When she has me and her Q, and she should have gone like, I don't know, Ma or something, I don't know, something with AD. But she's really fed, I can tell you that for sure. Sadly, Kenan gets a burst on her, and like, everyone just, you know, shits on her. So our carry does die, and now they're just running through us. And yeah, we basically lose off that. You know, one thing I didn't show was them sieging bot lane, but like, we had no clear initiation on them. Maybe Thresh, and maybe we could have fought if he uh, hooked someone, but... But, you know, three inhibitors, three super minions coming in, it's super hard to defend. I don't know, it sucks. And as you can see, my jungling is not really looking so hot. So we go back to the support, and I'm like, look, this black guy's all alone, so I flash on him. My boy Zeganox does not land the root, but that's fine, I just, you know, exhaust him. But the enemy team starts to show up, and, you know, two of them actually are in our vicinity, and my E, oh man, this E sucks. So you can see right about now, I'm already feeding, or was it for a good cause? Was the death a good thing? As you can see, we're getting a lot of kills, so yeah, I'm really feeling it. 
a little later a little later in my team season opening on the enemy team because they were kind of in their jungle but i do make the mistake of leaving my Jin alone and trying to focus the elise which was definitely a bad mechanical call this malphite gets really smart and just ults the Jin, which actually kills him and now i get one last stun off before i do die which secures the kill on alistair and the lucian and echo is coming down but the thing is malphite is just super tanky so he doesn't die not even two ap now we pick up the alistair with four people down here and right after we get the kill we definitely want to say let's get the first blood tower so all four of us stay and whoever is going to come down here is going to die flash stun because fuck the lucian so easy killing him they almost could have got the echo but my son actually saves him and yeah if the enemy mid laner actually came he would also die because my ultimate you know really op for tower diving and you guys are probably wondering why don't i play Tarek more it seems like you do better on him than janna well the thing is, Tarek is only good if you have someone in the front line with you. Otherwise, if you have a bunch of squishies on your team, you're actually completely not as useful. And I just hate playing Tarek without uh, anyone in the front line with me. If you're a Kha'Zix, that's still not good enough. I need someone tanky. And yeah, basically, I only bring out the Tarek whenever I think he's good. Otherwise, those games where I don't have a front line, I feel like I will lose, so I won't bring him out. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll probably play him whenever I have like an Olaf or something on the team. Think about it, an Olaf with my W plus E running at you, how do you, how do you deal with that, right? Especially if you're someone like Jinx. But yeah, this game, it's very, very dive heavy. There's a lot of action. Despite the kills being very close, we're actually very far ahead. And the only one who is really fed is the Malphite, so thank God, because he can't really carry. He's not the one with damage, and I can nullify most of his damage with my Q and W. But yeah, I mean, look, he can't really do anything when he's <laughs> inside of us. And I don't know about you guys, but I just love Tarek's mid game and late game. Oh, it's so good. But also you can see here, I'm not even in this team fight, but I have to show it because it's kind of important. Everyone's dying. Uh, I'm not doing anything. So yeah, you know, everyone dies. This means sort of free Baron. But then I say, let's do Baron. There's four people down. You know, this should be quite easy since I do have a bunch of heals. But oh, this fucking Malphite. Look at him. He's fucking scary as shit. This takes so long to kill him. I mean... Okay, maybe it's not that long, but still, Jesus Christ, this guy is super tanky. Now, I have a question for you guys. Do we do Baron right after this? Yes or no? No, we're too low, and the enemies are respawning soon, so we can't finish it in time. My team, team fights without me, but it looks like they're actually doing quite well for themselves. So, they get a bunch of kills, and then we do Baron. We even kill Elise later, because we don't want that bitch stealing the Baron. So, yeah, you know, this is easy. Eventually, we just, you know, push in their base. And then I get caught out, but I don't really give a shit. Then I escape because I'm a little too caught out, so I put on all my auras and all my shields, etc. And I don't die. But I'm scared someone might flash after me, so I have to be a little careful. But I can stay in this team fight. Okay, you know what? Y'all usually know what happens when we get Baron. Usually you win the game unless you have some sort of very close game going on. But yeah, we get some LP, and we are now at this amount of LP. So that'll be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. On the next episode of Dragon Balls in My Mouth, we play more Nunu and we also play Soraka. The reason I play Soraka in this game is because we have a Heimerdinger in the bot lane with me. So I'm like, give me that aura health regen and I can heal the shit out of you. But yeah, that'll be the next episode for you guys. And if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you didn't, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, I am Pantsire Dragon and I'll see you guys next time.